papers there. All right, so you live in the area? Yes, I do. I live right here in the building uh, right behind us, 37 uh, New Lots. Uh, tell me about this uh, man in the wheelchair. Uh, you've seen him before? Yeah, he's a regular. He, he comes out. Uh, I believe he lives in the building over here behind you. And, uh, and what yeah, does he, he do usually? When he, you he, he usually panhandles, but uh, he also sits around, listens to music when we're out here playing chess or cards or whatever, dominoes. Uh, he's known in the neighborhood by a lot of people, and it's unfortunate that uh, they say he got hit by the car back behind me. Now, where does he usually panhandle? On the road, on the sidewalk? Well, here is basically all over. Wherever there is a, a group of people, he'll go where a group of people are at, or he'll stand by one of these stores over here or, and see somebody coming out, and then, it, you know, people help him out. He uh, wasn't a bad guy, you know. No, I heard, you know, some folks were telling me that they, they warned him not to uh, do it in, in the road with the cars. Yeah, yeah well, he was also always, always warned about that, you know. And I don't know what he was trying to do, maybe stop cars or whatever, you know, which wasn't a good idea. But yeah, you know, the people warned him because they looked out for him. And how, how do you feel that he may have lost his life uh, doing this? How do I feel? You know, any anytime a person lose their life over something that uh, could have been avoided. It, it, you know, it's a tragedy and it, it makes me feel bad because I'm familiar with him. Thank you so much, sir. Anything else you'd like to say about this? Ever, uh, you know, um, concerned about your safety as a pedestrian walking around in the neighborhood? Well, I'm con well, I'm concerned about my safety walking around in my neighborhood and any other neighborhood. You're always supposed to look before you walk, you know, as they say, cross at the green and not in between. You know, it, and it's the tragedy, and I feel bad because, you know, I, I knew the man. You know, not personal, but from experiencing him going around. Thank you so much, sir. What's your name? Uh, my name is Lamont. Can you spell it? L-A-M-O-U-N-T. Thanks again, sir. Appreciate it. You're welcome. So it's sad today to know that this happened, you know. I just told him earlier to keep out the street, you know. He usually be out there asking for quarters, a dollar. Uh, you're talking about the guy in the wheelchair, right? Yeah. Do you know his name? We call him Willie, you know. We call him Willie. He usually be asking for a dollar here and there, you know. Trying to get his shit together. But it's sad that what happened tonight. Now, how do you think this happened? I can't even tell you. Uh, some say he might have been panhandling in he the roadway. He wheeling in his wheelchair. He was in his wheelchair, obviously in his wheelchair. And have you ever seen hit. him panhandling in the roadway with the cars? He'd be in the, between the cars, man. It's just an accident. It's sad what happened tonight. You know what I'm saying? You ever warned him uh, not to be, you know, in the I car? I just did that today. I just told him today. And what did he tell you? You want to give your name? No.